so uh, when we're using uh, paging, uh, it is imperative for all the processes uh, to uh, keep uh, page tables. Uh, page tables, uh, the basic concept of page table is that there's going to be a page table base register and a page table length register. Uh, so uh, it uh, page table base register uh, is uh, so, uh, when you, when we take a memory address uh, like you know page number x offset y. So first of all, check that the value of y is less than uh, the length register because uh, the the length register uh, indicates the size of the paging table and we cannot access memory that is larger than the length register and the value of the base register is added to our uh, address uh, just like we saw during virtual memory mapping we take the logical address we add the base register value create the physical address so that's uh, how it works okay so uh, there are a couple of ways to optimize how page tables work and uh, make it more efficient uh, because using a simple page table implementation means you require uh, two memory access every time. So one is to read the mem page table and then to actually read the data instruction. You have to do that uh, over and over for every day, every lookup of data that you want. So uh, one optimization is using a translational look aside buffer, which is called a TLB. What happens is that uh, most processes, uh, the operating system and most of the processes, they are designed in such a way that there are going to be some variables uh, which are used uh, more frequently, uh, which means that there's going to be some uh, pages uh, from which data is read more frequently than other pages. So what happens is the operating system creates a TLB. And a TLB uh, keeps a cache of page number and frame number. So when we uh, try to look up, uh, so this uh, TLB is usually uh, in the cache. Uh, so it, the TLB can be looked up really, really fast. Okay, uh, it takes much less time to look up the TLB than it takes time to look up uh, the uh, page table. So uh, this uh, here is your, you know, page table. Okay, and this is the TLB right here. Okay, so uh, when uh, we give a P and a D uh, value, so we first try to see if uh, this p value is there in our tlb or not okay uh, and if uh, we find a match in the tlb we uh, find the frame number and we put it here now if uh, there was no match here then we actually go and look in the original page table the big page table and we find the value of f from here and we put it there now uh, what we additionally do is whenever we find an f and uh, depending on such a condition uh, we uh, put this F, uh, you know, back into our TLB and there are many algorithms that we can use to maintain the TLB like uh, least recently used LRU or the most frequently used uh, MFU. So uh, the TLB uh, contains uh, the most uh, commonly used uh, page numbers and the mapped uh, frame numbers to them. So uh, what happens is that, uh, you know, this process happens more and this process happens you know less so most of the times we don't need to actually go and check the page table we are able to get the frame value from the tlb and that's why it's a little faster uh, once we get the f we have the f and d and we can check out the physical memory address so only when we uh, miss the tlb and we uh, take this path is that we are having to do two memory uh, lookups once in the page table and then in the physical memory but if it happens via this path then on, there's only one memory address lookup which is uh, you know this one uh, that's the paging that happens with a translational look aside buffer uh, there is uh, another mechanism that we can use uh, that is uh, basically uh, if you have a lot of data you just index it right so we use hierarchical paging so when we're using hierarchical paging uh, we uh, do is uh, take the address space and uh, you know take a memory address to be like this you know so this is the offset and this is uh, you can say uh, page number and this is the group number so uh, 
this is called the outer page table. So we take the group number and we find out uh, the frame for it. And inside that frame, we check for the page number. Okay. And inside that, we get the actual uh, final frame number and we get here. So basically, uh, we take the memory and we divide it into a lot of pages. Then what we do is we group them together into clusters of pages. And then we put that into the page table. So uh, when we are looking up uh, a particular value, we uh, first check what is the group number. So uh, this way the searching is a little more efficient. We, uh, if uh, in the older condition, we would have to search at uh, on speed where n equal to you know uh, six. Uh, now we have to first uh, search uh, on where n equal to two uh, for this, and then inside that we have to do plus and on where n equal to you know three. So we are getting a complexity of five instead of six. Okay. And if uh, we have created, you know, efficient uh, levels of clusters and done a good hierarchical mapping, then, uh, you know, we can reduce the number of pages that we need to search. So hierarchical paging is basically putting pages inside pages. Okay. Uh, next, uh, another thing that uh, we use is uh, an inverted page table. Uh, so an inverted page table, what happens is uh, in the in the usual page tables, we have a page table for each process. Okay. Um, now that is uh, inefficient because uh, because you know there needs to be a mapping that exists. I think we saw this last example. So there needs to be a mapping which tells that when you know this uh, process has been loaded into my memory there is a mapping which says that you know one is at position one two is at position two and three is at position three now when this process is loaded into memory i need to have a mapping which says that uh, you know uh, one is at position two two is at position three and three is at position four so uh, we have page tables for each different process now in a inverted position uh, page table, uh, what happens is uh, we do uh, something, you know, different. We have a single global page table. So uh, in this global page table, what we do is we have values like this. And this is called the PID. This is called the page number and this is called the frame. So we have uh, values like uh, uh, now in the earlier case, uh, what would happen is uh, this, uh, let's take this condition uh, itself. Okay. So we have uh, uh, six pages, three of P1 and three of P2, right? Um, what happens is, uh, let's see, here another bunch here. Right? So originally, Process uh, one has all its pages loaded, right? So when uh, process one tries to find out uh, page number, uh, you know, uh, three uh, comma ten, so we know that it's uh, from uh, PID equal to one. So we find one and three. So we find out this. And then, uh, you know, that's the frame number. So we find it's 310. Okay. Now what happens is that uh, when uh, the first process is unloaded from the memory and the second process is loaded into the memory, we uh, change this uh, into uh, something like this. Uh, which thing? Uh, so that's when uh, we shifted to the situation where uh, frame number two is now uh, process two and frame uh, page one. This is process two and page two, and this is process two and page three. Okay. Uh, so uh, these uh, two data points we have actually, you know, 
changed because now uh, the frames of page one have been unloaded from the memory, uh, process one have been unloaded from memory, and the frames of process two have been loaded into the memory. So now if uh, process uh, PID two tries to look up uh, page, uh, you know, uh, three comma uh, 10, then we find out two process ID two and a frame three, that is, you know, this one. Uh, so this four is transferred and we understand that we are trying to look at address uh, 4 comma 10 instead of uh, not 3 comma 10 we have trying to look at 4 comma 10 so uh, depending on which process is trying to access the memory we first find out the process id then we find out page number and depending on that we take the value of f okay uh, now this uh, inverted uh, page table concept uh, saves us a bit of uh, you know uh, data because uh, in the older condition what was happening is that we were maintaining six uh, six rows of data uh, the page table of process one has three entries the page table of process two has three entries now in the inverted page table there's only a single uh, page table which maintains one row per page that exists inside the entire operating system so we are only going to have four entries we're not going to have six entries we're going to have only four entries so it saves us space and that's why it makes searching for uh, the page number a little uh, faster okay that's what uh, the inverted page table uh, is about so these three uh, things uh, you know uh, translational look aside buffers um, uh, hierarchical paging and inverted page tables these three are uh, the most commonly used ways to make the process of paging uh, faster